Ya 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 ya. Come on everyone. I see Nahar. I see Kaiser. I see Christer. Hello there. Welcome everyone. Good evening. Come on. How have you guys been? <clears throat> I just had my dinner. Um, had four hours of sleep. I I wanted to say, you know, I I I totally deserve that. You know, um, I'm so tired, but I totally deserve that because, you know, I. I, I I didn't just stay up the entire night um, playing Dragon's Dogma too. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my own actions, but anyways, I'm so happy to see you guys. I'm not gonna let the um, I'm not gonna let that stop me from being energetic on tonight's stream. Also, come on, our silliness. Welcome. What's with the awaken from my slumber voice? Is it that obvious that I have a voice that sounds like I just woke up? <laughs> Is it that obvious? I think maybe you guys have been watching me for like a while, so eh, it's it's not that hard to kind of differentiate between my voice. <clears throat> So yeah, I do have that. I do have that like voice that I need to warm up every single time that I, um, you know, I just woke up. I I kind of sound like, um, kind of sound like a vehicle that has yet to start my engine. So ah, it's been so 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 hot um lately. Um, where I am, it's insane. Um, it's currently 30 degrees Celsius. I, I'm pretty sure it's even higher. Um, but man, it's so warm. It's so hot. Actually, it's, actually, it's kind of unbearable. Like, I don't think we've had rain in about a week. Um, so... It's really bad. That certain boner fanatic ASMR. Oh, you mean Danish? That certain boner fanatic, and by by certain you mean Danish. <laughs> yeah. Thirty-three degree max. That is insane. It's it's it's. I think that actually might just kill someone like it's so hot that um you would honestly just get a heat stroke here if you're not careful good evening kuma kuma neb we call it el nino in our country el nino it sounds like a name but does that also refer to the heat like is that a way is that is that how you guys refer to the heat in the country? Well, I mean, we're staying in almost the same area, right? So um I guess we are all experiencing the same type of heat. So Silliness, um, is, how's the temperature over on your side? Like, how's it doing? Cause I don't, I don't think I've ever asked where you're from, but like, how, how is it? Because it's so bad here in my country and, um, in the other countries that our boners are staying in as well. Because most of us here, I think we're staying in the um, Southeast Asian side of the world. 38 degrees Celsius and you're... Are you serious? 
Well, it's the earth on your side is running a fever. Danish. Also, kombanev. I'm in heat. By in heat, like if you if you mean that like, um, I'm sweating buckets. Yeah, even with the fan turned on at like max speed, um, it's actually pretty bad. Ah. Uh. I've been drinking like ice water every single day because it's just so hot. And okay, let me set up the game while I'm at it. Oh, anybody here still plays like Honkai Stario? Because I've actually stopped for quite a long while. Um, I got my account back. The last time I actually wanted to stream. Um, Honkai Star Rail, but because there were some problems, there was some problems with um, my account, so I had to speak to, I had to email, actually, um, the customer support to have them get my account back. It's back, it's all good though, um... But to be honest, I've never touched the story ever since. Like, I think I am just at the start, at the beginning of the Pinacani, um storyline. I've not progressed from there. Someone hacked your account. I don't know if that's the case, honestly. Like, um, one day I was just not able to go into my account anymore and um it it was it was kind of um devastating for me because I did spend on the game can get into the can get into playing and indulging the game and salty not getting Pella how are you not getting Pella I have like six copies of Pellas already like I'm not it's it's not an E6 for me, it's like an E like 15 for me at this point for Pella. Um but well I mean in in on hindsight I'm not getting my five stars, so I think Archeron comes out today or was it yesterday? Today? I think it was I think it's today. So how how are your how are your rows going? By the way, I don't know if you guys are still playing. Oh, come on, that potato. I'm talking about um, Honkai Stario. Have you heard or play this game? Have you heard about or play this game? It's basically um, a phone game. Um, sort of like a turn, it, it has a turn-based, like, um, aspect to it. It's, it's a gacha game. You're playing it right now. You know, it's kind of funny. I remember, like, um, Kuma being in one of my Honkai Star Rail streams. And then, I think it, it kind of got him there. And he started playing. And I see his bin streaming Hongai Stario here and there. It's, it's really pretty funny, like... Kuma's still playing Hongai Stario, and I, I've stopped a long time ago. Yeah. Kuma Nevshin! Hope you don't mind, I'm lurking while playing HSR, no problem at all. Did you get your Archeron? I hope you did. I know a lot of people did. Genshin, but a million years to the future. Well, I wouldn't say it's completely like Genshin. I feel like it has a better story than Genshin. And the gameplay is kind of different. Like, Genshin is sort of like a... Um... Hack and Slash? Like, I think it would make more sense if you compare it to, like... Honkai Impact. Rather than... Um, Honkai Stario, actually. Ah. 
Oh, am I excited for Wuthering Waves? For the character design, yeah. But... Okay, here's the thing about me. I don't think I am a person with ADHD. But when it comes to games, I feel like... I feel very much like an ADHD. I have little to no attention span for most games. So I started off Honkai Stario really excited, really interested, really invested in the story. Um, but then I think gradually I just stopped being into it. Like it just stopped catching my attention even though um, there have been husbandos, waifus that I really like. But it's just not, it's just not doing it for me. I don't know. I don't know. You dislike wasting money. Oh, Kaisa, I understand how you feel. I, I told myself I, I would never want to spend for gacha games. In fact, I think um, Honkai Stario is the first gacha game that I've spent money on. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I think it is. I've never spent um, a single cent in any gacha game ever. Come on now, Steamer, welcome! Hi there! Is it because Queen can do dodge and Wuthering Waves? I've not tried that game yet, actually. Is it out? I don't think it's out yet, is it? Is it? I haven't seen the gameplay as well. All I know is... Um, there's probably one character inside that I'm really interested in, that's all. Not yet. Yeah. So, I think it kind of plays like Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact a little, like it's a hack and slash game. Or like Punishing Grey Raven. The kind of gameplay. So, um, I'm looking forward to it, but I can't guarantee that I'm gonna... Stay in there for more than a month. I'll give it a month. So. I think ultimately, eventually, I think I'm still a PC gamer. I, I think I'm still a PC gamer. Like, I think PC games still capture me the most. Um, especially ones of complete story. Um... You know, I don't even do well with, like, games that are just in, um, in beta. Like, I need, I need me a game that has full, complete story. Um, more than, like, 100 hours of gameplay or something. Um, compelling story. You know, it, it, it would be, it would be, a it would be a cherry on top if you throw in, like, um, management or a Building or um, what do you call that? Choices matter into the into the game. Summertime Saga is a PC game. I know, and I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> I know, I'm not gonna play it. I can't. I can't. I don't think I'll be able to stream it unless I add like a. R21 M18 like tag in front of my title and be like 18 year old no boners who are below 18 years old cannot enter but still it's the internet like I, I don't know how old you guys are exactly I think I have I have had viewers um that I'm pretty sure are not um 18 and above, even though my stream is stated for adults. <laughs> age Doom. I, you know, if, if you take out the age, I could probably play it. I'm just saying. 
That's why games like Witcher and RDR2 are masterpiece. I agree. I've sank so many hours into Witcher. I've played it like twice now. Um, I would say, you know, I would say Dragon's Dogma 2 is the only other game that um, have come really close to um, being on the same pedestal with Witcher 3 for me. Because when I first... I got Witcher on a great sale. I think I got it like on 80% off. And it was the most worth it purchase on Steam that I've ever gotten. Um, and I think Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming really close to... Um, you know, making me feel the same way about Witcher, Witcher 3. Yeah. It has, like, the same... Um, you know, when you do, like, one side quest, you didn't think it would affect the main quest in any way, but it actually does, kind of way. Like, I think in, in that sense, it's kind of similar to Witcher 3. Yeah. There's another... Of that Exit 8 game. It's like Subway Zero or stuff. Wait. Is it from Chilla's Art? I think it's new, right? I think I've seen it on my YouTube. Someone is playing um, this new game from Chilla's Art. I'm quite interested in it, actually. Subway Server. No, not Subway Server. Oh, goodness. I... I went into my Steam, and the first thing I see on my store page is uh, Lust, Lust Goddess. Yep. <laughs> Hang on, let me let me look up. Um, Shinkansen Zero. Yes. It's seven fifty. Actually, not bad. Ooh, okay, I'm looking at some of the, um, I'm looking at some of the thumbnails, um, from the game itself. Chilla really improved with the character model art. Like, it used to be so flat, um, and the, the characters seem to be borderline, like, scary, but now it actually looks real. Actually looks good. I might. I might play it. Yeah. I've never played any Chilla's art game before. Um. So we might do that next week. Yeah, I think Shinkansen Zero looks not bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same... It's the same concept. Shinkansen Zero is a game set in Japan where players are tasked with finding anomalies in the Shinkansen. Okay. Yeah, I think we can play that. Last Goddess. Hey, it's the Nikkei clone using AI art. <laughs> oh yeah, no wonder it, it's, it looks so familiar. It does strike me as like a Nikkei game. Like, especially with the art. How about Zucosis Queen? It's a horror game. Um, I've seen the, the trailer for it. I'm quite excited. I, I love the zoo. Um, so, I'm curious to see how Zucosis is going to destroy that for me. <laughs> and turn the zoological experience into a horror one. Anomalies, like the back rooms. Yee. I would say it's closer to Exit 8, the game that we played um, the last time. Where we have to, where we're just caught in like a never-ending um, underground tunnel to try and get out of the uh, train station. And then we have to spot the anomalies. 
I think it should be the same. Oh my god, she actually has... Um... She actually has a lot of games, I just realized. I think she... Chilla already made like a total of 21 games. I think... Let me look at it. Oh yeah. 21 games. It's pretty insane. And some of these look really good, by the way. Also, I was shocked that Queen gonna play Sophie's Curse. <sighs> you know, a part of me really doesn't want to play it because... Because of the timing that I stream. So I stream, like, kind of late at night. And I don't want my... I don't want my neighbors to think that... Um... You know, I'm... I'm I'm going through something really traumatic. Okay, actually that um that is I am going to be going through something traumatic when I play Sophie's Curse. Got to bring that portable toilet bowl while at it. Yeah, I I I can foresee that I'm going to shit myself honestly. I am both looking forward and not looking forward to that game. Well, playing horror game, of course, it's traumatic. Yes, it has kind of been a while since our last horror game. What was the last one? What was the last horror game that we played, actually? I'm gonna act... I'm, I'm gonna do some digging. You need someone to accompany you while you play that game. Ooh. I would, but... Um, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to stream alone. I could drag my mom into it, but I don't think she's, uh... Huge fan of horror games. I don't think my mom has ever watched a horror movie in her life. Supermarket Simulator is horror game. Oh, oh yeah. The horrors of working in the supermarket as a cashier. Simply horrifying, guys. Okay, I think my last horror game was... Sons of the Forest, which I feel isn't really horror for me, honestly. Don't bring your mom into this, Queen. Hospital bills ain't cheap. What about me? What about my hospital bills? I'm gonna end up in the hospital, too. The horror of NPCs stuck on one rack. Yes, that is true. Oh yeah, if you're talking about like a real, real horror game, I think... Um, yeah, Hollow Cocoon is probably the one. Gonna end up in police station. I, I don't really want that to happen. So, we're gonna have to try and not scream too loudly. Least we end up in a place that we don't really want to. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna switch us over to the gaming chat. I think you guys are looking forward to Dragon's Dogma just as much as I am. So, let us head over. Okay, why is my chat not updating here? Hang on, let me just fix it. 
quick second. Oh no. I'm gonna try and remove it and then bring it back. Okay, that did it for me, yes. Also, I want Queen to play the horror classics like Slenderman and Amnesia Dark Descent. You know, is it is it is it bad if I say that Slenderman is hard? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I dig like I dig Slenderman, so Okay, Amnesia though. Amnesia though. I've seen the monster design. I don't really like it. I don't think I'm going to vibe well with it. I'm slightly concerned. Please don't be. I think I think I think most of us at one point probably had the hots for um Slendy. Don't lie. Don't lie. Okay, I'm gonna load to my last save. Okay, I did... I did continue the story a little bit. Um, because... I did say that I'm not going to spend too much time on this game. Um, I think I'm gonna stream it maybe like a couple more times and then I'm gonna stop. Um... I forgot to change out of my pants. I Okay, this may or may not be a treat for some of you. Okay, so I was doing some dungeon crawling last night and um and um I found this really good Excuse me sir are you staring at my gut? <sighs> okay, so I went into the dungeons last night and I found this really good piece of gear and um when I looked at it I was like why is it just a pair of undies? And I didn't really want to put it on at first because I was like, this doesn't really suit my character, does it? And <laughs> but but the stats were so good. The stats were amazing. So uh I I, I had to. I had to let him wear it. Oh. Oh, thank you. Um. I just got a spe specialization. What is this? Enables the pawn to mark the locations of enhancement materials. I see. How do I... Am I able to equip my... Pawns with... Oh yeah, why is she blushing so much? Is she okay? And there's a photo mode. Let's uh Let's zoom in on her. Whoa 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 whoa
No. How do I move mine? Not really sure how to move the screen. Okay, but here you, you guys can see. It's because of your get. <laughs> the clapping of my cheeks keeps alerting the guards. And and you know it actually makes perfect sense, um, considering our surrounding. Okay, so I think we can continue with our main quest now. So I did some more um I did some more exploring and I've actually gone all the way down here. And I've unlocked this thing called a uh, port crystal. So they're basically teleportation points. Um and you're supposed to teleport to them using this thing called the fairy stone. So you can see that teleportation is a largely a luxury um, in this game. And it's not readily available even though um, even though this is a huge world. Which honestly is pretty good because it encourages me to um, do, to explore while I'm on a different part of the map. Okay, I think we're supposed to... We're supposed to pass the time and wait for... Okay. And I have to pass the time one more time. Is the pan supposed to be on female characters? I I think so. I think so, yeah. But they don't really they You're right, okay. Um they don't really tell you that it's for females. I think you're supposed to find that out for yourself. It's pretty obvious that this is for females. But the good thing is that both genders can wear it. Like they don't gender lock your armor. So as long as it is for your class, you can wear it. And um... <laughs> I... I have been very distracted by this ass. I'm gonna show you guys something actually. Um, the climbing of ladders. I'm gonna have to show that to you guys because it's so... Hilariously good. Now, if I can find a ladder. Where is the... Where is said ladder? Explains why some NPC is blushing. I don't think I don't think that um, they're actually blushing in response to my ass. Sir, will you please look at my ass cheeks and tell me if it's good? Okay, he he, he walked away. He 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 don't want any of he don't want any of this ass. Okay, I understand. Um, I think there is a. Ladder around here somewhere. I just have to look for it. I think it's here. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, 
So. <laughs> I had to because it looks so good. <laughs> Let me inspect it. <laughs> Inspector, how does it, how does it fare? This fine ass. What will you rate this ass? He's cold down there. You don't understand. You know, the, it's 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 like it's game armor logic. The lesser one wears. The warmer and the more protect protected they are. Smooth and healthy, yeah. Yeah, I, ha I have to say, honestly. Why is it so smooth? <laughs> Alright, let's talk to him. Greetings, your majesty. Have you a moment to speak? Of course. Hey, get out of my kiat. Are we supposed to move to a more discreet area? Okay. There is much we ought to attend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as the true arisen. So, I think the first of the three missions that I'm supposed to do um, is to call the monsters. So, I've taken care of the monster problem. So, I don't know if you guys remember this part. Basically, there is a fake um, arisen in this place right now. And um, he or she have been, has been, have been groomed by Disa um, to be the fake arisen. An imposter, yes, yes. Fake Arisen and Fake Pawns, yes. So, um, our guy Brent knows that this is all a fluke. And he knows that we are the real, the true Arisen. And um, in order to, you know, get more people to believe in us, we're going to have to do some stuff first. So the first of these tasks that I'm supposed to do um, was to call the monsters. Expeditioner's cloak. Okay. I think I've got a new piece of gear. Let's look at it. Oh, I've got a cloak. I don't really like the cloak. Like, I think it's okay, but it's not the best. Eh. Yeah, no capes. I think our, our loop, lupin? Our lupin cape looks pretty badass. Ooh. I didn't even notice the uh, wolf head here. You guys can see it. I actually like this 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 cape a lot. Is there only male character? No, of course not. You can design your own character. You can create your own character. So you can play as a female if you want to. And I honestly I presume that this this piece of pants that I'm wearing um they call it pants, but I personally would call it like fucking undergarments. Um well, basically, this piece of gear, I think it is supposed to be for female Arisens. Can I customize boobs? You can customize the boob size, but not in-depth. Like, you can 
you can um you can change how big you want it to be but um you can't really change the angle of it wait maybe you can i think you're able to I wouldn't I wouldn't really know because I I actually didn't create a female character so I don't know how the sliders for the female character work. Um Okay, no. So no no cloak. Uh Okay, I think we are supposed to take up the next one. Oh, we have quite a few um, tasks that we have to do. Do they have jiggle physics? I don't think they really... No, I don't think they jiggle. Ooh, we need to infiltrate the palace. It's hitman time, guys. Oh, yeah, okay. So, um, before we continue, I actually... I did some side quests um, last night. And, um, I think I have, I have some, I've come across some really interesting side quests. I'm not going to spoil, like, all of them for you. I'm not going to spoil them. I'm not going to tell you the outcome, um, or the choices you get to make. But, basically, okay, there's this one quest that, um, is a time quest. So, you know, time quests are a thing in Dragon's Dogma 2. Like, you will sometimes randomly get a quest um, that if you do not do in a certain amount of time, you're going to fail them. Like, the NPC involved is going to die or um, you're just going to lose that quest altogether. So, I have... A time quest where I'm supposed to save a child from a pack of wolves. So, um, apparently the child was out looking for flowers. And he got dragged away by wolves to the lair. And we are supposed to look for, we were supposed to look for him with um, a riddle. Basically, the townspeople gave us some clues. Um, I had to solve a whole damn riddle. Um, and we were on a timer. We had to rescue the boy. So in the end, we managed to save him. And we had to escort him back to the town. And that was the real challenge. Because that motherfucking kid... That motherfucking kid... Um, was caught in the intense crossfire between our heroes and a fucking ogre, okay? So, okay, you know how NPCs will kind of lurk around your characters um, when they come across, like, enemies or, like, monsters. So... Like, if you have, like, a quest-related NPC, they'll kind of just hang around. And for some reason, that fucking kid just keep running into the battle between me and the ogre. And he kept getting smacked by the ogre. And I'm not sure how... I, I, I'm not entirely sure how he's not dead yet, but... um. He isn't. He's doing really well. And then... So after we, def after we defeated the ogre, we made our way back to the town. And along the way, because we were traveling um, at night, we actually encountered 
a ghostly monster mage looking thing. And the monster could cast eye spells. Yeah. And here's the thing. So the monster casted this huge icicle. And um, it basically... The boy ran into the spell casting circle. And got fucking stabbed by the icicle. And guess what? He didn't die. Our boy didn't die. And, um... I didn't have enough recoverable HP left. So I had to carry the child. And make a fucking run for it. So that was that. Come on, Yuki! Did you fix the bridge? No. I, I, I don't think I did. Everything affected and has consequences. Yes. Well, they really want you to experience the consequences from your quest, so... Um, from, from the choices that you make. So... It's... Every time you make, like, a choice, they auto-save immediately after that, and... You're basically fucked. So... Death, you can have him. Yeah. Alright, and then there was another one. There was another quest that I did. Um, which was basically to follow a beggar around town to learn about his daily routine. So I had to, I had to follow him throughout the day. And, um... Find out about what he 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 did all day, and um, that quest I think had like multiple endings. Like you could, you you you're basically able to um, trigger more than one ending, and um, I think I might have kind of triggered like a. Good ending? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? I guess. Like I, I wouldn't know if it's good or not, but it seems pretty good to me. Ah. Bye bye, bye bye, Kaizo. Thank you for joining us tonight. Have a great day, by the way. I assume you're going for class. Have a good one. I'll see you on Friday. Yeah. And, um, I had a lot more, like, but they're basically just me fighting, like, a lot of monsters. Like, I fought an, I fought an ogre with less than half recoverable HP. Okay. We're supposed to go to Van Worth. Palace. Okay. So, you know, something that is interesting about this game is that... Um... You are... You can actually... You can borrow... Um... Pawns... From other people. Right? So... Here's the thing. I have a pawn that is... Really high level, like level 39. Um, I'm currently kind of getting her help for some of my main quests. What are pawns? Okay, pawns are basically like additional party members that you can hire into your group, um, into your team. So this is uh, this is a single player game. So. Um, you don't get, like, um, party members joining you. Like, you don't get main party members joining you. In fact, you get, um, people called pawns. So, when you start the game, you are required to create a main pawn. And your main pawn will be the one that you carry, um, that you bring with you on all of your journey. And then you can hire two additional pawns from beyond the rift. 
So basically, you can hire other people's pawns. People、um, create the pawns, and if you're online, you get access to the pawns. So it's really interesting. So an interesting mechanic that this game has、um, is that. Okay, so you can see here our pawn here, Weiss,、um, whom I borrowed from a friend, is level thirty nine. Meaning to say that Weiss、um, has been on the road for a while, and it would be safe to assume that、um, whoever、um, this pawn belongs to, they have been、um, way ahead of us in terms of main quest. So when that happens, your pawns can actually guide you to the next area、um, related to your quest. So you can see here, Wise is actually bringing us to、um, where the the story would progress. So it's very interesting. It's really interesting. I'm gonna ask them to wait here because our pawns are not、um, allowed. Where's your pawn hub, Queen? Oh. Well, you can you're able to summon pawns from a rift stone, so I guess that thing would be called the pawn hub. Pawn sounds yabe. That's because you're thinking of it yabe. It's pawns, not porn. So, it's different. Also, I think my attire is not really appropriate for palace grounds. I think. I think I'm supposed to go in from here. Ooh, intense music. Okay, I think we are doing the sneaky, sneaky here. Okay. Oh, I think we're supposed to change into. Oh, all right. Goodbye to our sexy pants for a while. We are infiltrating, so I think we have to change it to something else. Ooh, is the map big? Okay, I think I can zoom out for you guys. So this is the world map. I think there's probably a. A lot more up here. And there's a whole area here that I have not、um, explored yet. I'm not sure whether these areas will be open. I think they will be. I think. Yeah, it's pretty big. You can tell there's gonna be a lot to explore. I think this is the edge of our map, though. This is probably the edge. So nothing else going on here.、Um, and you can see here. I think you can see the other edge here. So all in all, yeah, I think it's a pretty big map, if you ask me. Kind of, especially since fast travel isn't that available、um, in this game. Okay, so we are dressed for the part. How do we get? How do we get in there? Is it here? Okay, no, it's not here. I spy something. Lantern oil. So there's some um. There's some places where they require you to, kind of, what's the word? Disguise yourself. 
So, um, there will be um, restricted areas, and to get in there with um, no, with little to no problems, you're gonna have to disguise yourself, which I think is pretty cool because I love a good disguise mission. I think I remember like Witcher having the same mechanic. If I if I remember correctly. I think there was a quest in Witcher which I have I had to dress up as one of the guards as well to gain their trust. Or to enter like a Restricted area. Okay, let's follow the quest marker for now. I think we're not supposed to be in here anyway. So let me just read this again. I cannot help but think it's strange. Pawns used to loiter around the rift stones in, in droughts, but I have not seen a single one for some time. It is difficult to imagine where they might have gone. I wonder if this bears reporting. So, there have been some other people um, who have suspected that our arisen in this castle is a fake because arisens, as you know, have the power to command pawns and for some reason you don't see a lot of pawns that's a queen Disa. Oh. Am I not supposed to be in here? Am I not supposed to be here? I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. You wouldn't mind if I look around, would you? She's hostile. I didn't even do anything to her. What if I carry her? <laughs> alright, alright. Um... You're in someone's bedroom. Oh, not just anyone. The Queen's Chambers, I think. I think this is where we need to be. The castle offices. Pick up. Oh! Stan! Oh! I knew it would connect. Okay, so basically, I did this one side quest where I helped this young man called Sven. Um, I gave him some money to um, buy something. And he promised to give me back every single cent of it. And he did. He did. And I, and, and I got on his good books as well. So, you know... He has been talking to me um, while returning me money. So we've, we've met up a couple of times, talk. And he's been telling me about how um, his mother have been really restrictive of his freedom. And I had my suspicions that Sven is actually Disa's son. Yeah. It's 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 pretty obvious, honestly. So it, this is one of the side quests that um, you guys would encounter. I feel like I might have spoiled you guys for it, but it's not really a very major side quest, I think. Yeah. If I take off my helmet, would he know who I am? 
各社だっていうのだとしたら王宮にいる各社王はひょっとして Interesting questing system Yes So apparently、um, this happens This happens a lot in this game. So, you will get a lot of quests that don't seem to have connections but actually later on link to another quest. ベルントに連絡しておくね僕が先に出て衛兵の相手をするから The last time I've experienced、um, a similar questing system、um, was from Oh, we could actually go out from here うわっ Oh shit No, I have not explored the entire place. I want to go in. It's, it's locked up now. I hope I'll still be able to go around freely as long as I. Oh, I am sorry. Okay. Okay, there's still some places that I cannot have access to. This place is huge. Okay, I mean, to be fair, it's a castle, so. It would make sense for it to be huge. We are in the kitchen. I found some dried fruits. Very limited freedom to sneak around. I think I should have done the sneaking before I got out of the window. Oh. <laughs> So, if you continue to go in areas, areas that you're not supposed to, the guards would attack you, or whoever is in the area would attack you. I think I have a quest in here.、Um, another quest that's in here, actually. Ooh, wait. I don't have the key for this area. I think that's to the prison. Okay. So I think I have a quest that's related to the prison in this game. I think they call it the Gals. G A O L. So. Whoa. Whoa. Can I sit down here? No, I can't. This is really beautiful. I mean, just look at this. Look at this. This looks so cinematic. That's a very huge throne room. It is. And it's beautiful. Okay, let's get out of here.、Um, now, how do I access the gals? Is this our way out? I think this is our way out. Yes.、Oh. Um, what, what, if I keep, what if I keep going? I mean, he's okay with me just going through here, right? Where is this? What is this? Oh, Masquerade Hall. Okay. 
Where is the gauss? I have to look for it. Oh, I think this is the one, actually. Oh, Komanna50. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to my stream. My name is Nefis Miria Galactia the Knife. And I'm a Dulahan Queen. VTuber. Welcome. So tonight I'm streaming this game called Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, feel free to join us. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm usually a horror VTuber, um, but we are trying out different games as of now. Let's turn on our light. It's good to have you here with us. So have you heard about this game before, 50? Okay, we're in the Gao Tower. We're in the Gao Tower. I don't know if I'm allowed to be in here. I'm just gonna be careful around ab ab about it, though. Okay, he doesn't have anything to say to us, so that is good. That is good. It means we're not breaking any rules whatsoever. Makeshift gal key. Let's pick that up. Either rummage the barracks or pickpocket guards. Yep, I just managed to pick a key off in this room. I have played the hell out of the original and I am currently 40 or so hours into this game. Amazing. I can see why this game is such a time sink because it's so good. Um, I have never... I, don't, don't, don't be alarmed, don't be angry. I've never played this game before. Um, not, not the first Dragon's Dogma. Um, you could say I'm trying to get in on the hype, but honestly, um, it's more to the fact that I really, um, like games like that, that, um, gives me some choice making in my quest. Who knows, this game could make you a convert. Oh yeah, it, it, it has definitely converted me. I have to say, it, it has definitely converted me. Um, okay. So we've got the gal key. I think we make our way back. Now, if only I remember how to go back there. Was it here? Whoa, oh, I'm not I'm not going in there. I'm not going in there. Chill. Chill. Yeesh. Store's locked. So I think the a similar game that I've probably played is Witcher 3. Um it has some similar aspects to this game when it comes to certain quests. And I really like that. And I've sank so much time into Witcher. So I honestly, I can see myself doing the same for this game. Not going to lie. Okay, we've found our way to the Gauss before we can do it again. So I've got a Gao key with us. I think it was in this direction. Did we come in from here? Are you doing the quest, the cage magistrate, perchance? Um, no, I'm actually doing Disa's plot. So I've infiltrated the castle um, to sort of look for evidence that incriminates Disa. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm very lost. I have a very bad sense of direction. I'm trying to look for the gals. I think we... Okay, I, I remember this. I remember this path. I think it's down here. We just got the gals key. Oh, 
Did you just reach the capital earlier than and spoke to Captain Bran for the first time upon arriving? Okay, the thing is, I actually arrived in um, Vermont like maybe a good while back. But I've been doing nothing but side quests. Um, and yeah, you could say that yeah, I'm on, I've only started to do um, Brand's quest. So I'm trying not to rush myself in the main story. Wait, did I not get the makeshift gal key? I guess that's not the right key. Hmm. I can't use it though. Yeah, I think this is not really the right key. Oh, it's to the castle vault. That's not the fucking. That is not. That is not the gal. I'm trying to look for the gals right now because I think it is related to another one of, um, another quest that I have, which is supposed to be, um, hunt for the Jedi orb. I think I'm supposed to come to the Gao for this one. According to one of my pawns, that is. Then you should find the evidence you need upstairs upon entering the garden. I have the evidence already. Thank you, 50. I do have the evidence, but right now I'm just kind of sneaking around while I still can um, in my guard outfit. Really. I'm trying to look for the gals, which I think I found it, but I'm honestly not sure how to enter it. Oh man, I may have left the um, castle door. Okay, yeah, okay. That's great hall. So there's going to be a lot of running around in this game. I am um, I'm not going to go straight to the main quest. Not allowed in here, am I? Pronounced j Oh! Wait. It's pronounced jail. That blew my- oh my god, that blew my mind! Oh my god, I can't believe I've been calling it Ga- 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 This entire time. Ga- so I was right. I was right. This is supposed to be the jail. Jail. Oh my god. I feel like an idiot right now. <laughs> okay. Um. I feel like I'm going in circles. Oh, there we go. How did I m completely miss this part? Oh, wait. Which one of them is our guy? Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Okay, I'm not gonna spoil it for those of you who want to play this game by yourself. Um, but this is related to another side quest. This is the result of what happened. This is insane. I actually really like this. I really like how they... It's pretty late where I am. Have a good stream and see you, everyone. Thank you so much for dropping by, 50. Um, I stream every Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, I think I am also going to be streaming this um, Friday. So if you'd like to watch more of my streams, you can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is up there. And I post my um, schedule weekly. And if you'd like to join us again, please do. Thank you so much for joining us and have a good nap. Bye bye. Quest is understandable, but the route is just so confusing. It is. That is a big motherfucking rat. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I, I'm, it's just. A, it's a rat, guys. It's a rat. Just a rat. Look at how big this thing is. Holy shit. That's a big Mac fucking rad. Okay, we only have one makeshift gal key, so I don't wanna use it like Oh, oh there we go. Jade at Orb guy. Wow. Fine. Oh, this mm, this fucker just tricked me. He took my five hundred gold. And then he said, actually no, I don't I I'm I don't I haven't pilfered something like that. Ibrahim Okay. Okay, I'm guessing the makeshift Gao key is gonna be for one of the main quests later. So I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm not gonna use it as of now. Let's make our way back. I've been fuck. Let's make our way back. I have a feeling it's beyond those doors that I saw just now. Like the locked area at the back. I think that's where my key is supposed to go. But we'll come back here in due time. So for now... Let us get out of here. Just go to the place that prisoner said. That one is related to another side quest. So, um, actually for that side quest, I think it was this one. This one. So, for that side quest. I actually had no clue, um, where I was supposed to start looking. 
But then remember that、um, pawns that you hire sometimes can bring. They usually bring over experiences that they have with them. So the pawn that I brought along with me,、um, her arisen master have already done this quest, so she knows where to go. So so she brought me to the jail, and gave me a clue. And it's pretty insane. Like they don't exactly tell you like, oh, what you got to do, um. But well, they they do point you、well. in the general direction. Okay, I think now we can take off our disguise.、Um, let's remove this. Oh, I can raise my visor! Holy shit! I could have shown everyone my. <gasps> Wait, maybe if I raised my visor, Sven would have seen my face. I don't know if he noticed that I was the guy who helped him. Man, I feel like doing that quest again. I feel like restarting it so that I could see if that makes any difference at all. All right, back to our、um, sexy underwear. Uh, it, uh, um, no, not really. No, I have not. How do they all know that I'm the arisen when I haven't announced anything? そういたいところだが、少々問題があってな。というのも、everyone in this town seems to know that I'm the arisen。まだ届いておらんのだ。あれが届かぬことには、わしの収集物は不完全なまま。そんなものを人には見せられん。どうしても見たいというのであれば、わしの代わりに彫刻家の様子を見てきてくれんか。彫刻家はバクバタルに住んでおる。バクバタル。頼んだ彫刻の完成を心待ちにしておると伝えてくれ。話を聞きに行きましょう。I will do that later. I think I've come into this house before. Okay, anyways, let's continue first. Perhaps your get is a sign that you're an arisen. I see. You know what? You might be right. Okay, let's do a side quest first. なるほど。イブラヒム一品店。そこで宝石を鑑定するのですね。We have to go to checkpoint. Checkpoint town, which is not here, I think. Oh, it's all the way here, Checkpoint Town. So I'm gonna have to take the ox cart, I believe. How did I get there? I think I went out from this. なるほど、確かに。おそらく長い道のりになるでしょう。歩くかそこの技師を使うか。Okay. どうしますかね。Let's save ourselves a bit of time by taking the ox cart. 長旅になりそうですね。体力温存も兼ねて、技者を使うのもありかと。技者ですか。魅力的な提案ではあります。でも判断は各社様に委ねましょう。この技師はすまないが前払いで。So you have to pay like a small fee for him to bring you along. わかりました。各社様のそばにいます。So you can sit on the ox cart. 
it's gonna be like a really long ride, so I'm gonna doze off. And this would fast forward the time. And we've been attacked. Wait, this is our this is our guy. Okay. I did absolutely nothing. Because I I didn't even have any idea where my Where the enemies were coming from. Oh, there it is. The checkpoint town. So it's kind of like a, as the name suggests, it is a checkpoint between borders. So according to what I've heard, um, okay. Cass. Okay, Cash, you're really sweet, but I don't really need you in my party. Okay. So, do you see that gate up there? That's actually a border. So, like, as the name suggests, um, it's a border. You need to, you need some sort of, like, documentation if you want to cross it. So we are here in a quaint little town called the Checkpoint Town. Okay, see, there are two merchants looking for the Jadeite Orb. I guess our choice will be to decide um, who we're going to give it to. You need a passport to cross it, the usual. Yes, exactly. There is another way that you could cross the border, though. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. You guys are going to have to find out for yourself. Request a forgery? I can wait. I can make... Ooh. I can make copies of stuff. That is interesting. Oh, there we go. The Jadeite Orb. Beastrian Mask. This can be make this this can be used as a disguise. I'm pretty sure. One of, one of the quests out there, we're gonna have to, um, disguise ourselves as a beastrin. No, I'm actually gonna get it just in case. I'm gonna get the Jedi orb too. This is really interesting, guys. Let's check out. Ooh, it's a painful dollar. I'll get it. No, I'm not gonna equip it. Do I have anything to sell? Anything at all? Ooh. I don't think I have anything good to sell. Ooh, what's this? Forager's Tome. Ooh. I say we keep our disguise and stuff. At least we need it again. The scrap store. You can have forgeries made at the scrap store. Simply bring along the item you wish to have a duplicate of. Pay the fee and wait a few days for the merchant to complete your order. The forgery will be identical to the genuine article in appearance, but will not necessarily share its function. Whoa. Ah, Commander Bystick Star. Commander Artemis. Welcome. 
Nah, I think we're just enjoying a good time together. It doesn't really matter if like there are a lot of people watching my stream or not. You know, I'm just here to have fun. We've got the Jadeite Orb, guys. How have you been? I stick. Oh my god, it's the huge... Big ass motherfucking rats again. Look at how fucking big they are! Holy shit! Look at the size of that! Look at the size of that! Oh my god. That is as big as a fucking cat! Why is it so big? Time to loot the NPC's home. Yes, I'm trying to look for some good stuff. Give me the good stuff. This, the guy's back just snapped something within me. I think it did the same for everyone. The size of what? The rat or his gear? <laughs> Konbanev Sharan, welcome! The size of the rat and his gear, both of them. Okay, so we've got the Jada orb. Now we gotta decide if we want to give it to this guy over here, or if we want to give it to the other guy. So this guy says whatever the other guy is. This guy says that whatever that guy is going to pay me, he's going to pay double. So, you know, being our main character in the villain arc, we, we're going to want... We're going to want the one that gives us more money. Is he not wearing pants? He is. As a matter of fact, he is. I'm wearing some Rangers tights. They are pants. Bearing, come on up. Why is his butt out? Why shouldn't his butt be out? Free the butt. Why contain them ass cheeks when they can be out? Tis a time where no one judges. I am the arisen. I shall wear what I want. Wait, do they call it? Do they call him like a risen or a risen? I think a risen makes more sense, right? Oh! Nahar! Oh my! How could I not have seen that? You are a genius! Oh my god! That blew my mind. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna see what happens if I do that. That is actually... That is actually smart! Only do that if you wanna bribe the smitty. Taken if the forger can do it. I mean, he probably can. Worth a noble's ransom. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, um, now I think we need to wait for him to finish making that. So, I think we can have a... Oh, 
さあ、なんでもあるよ。マスク、マスクコンシューメント。Wait, this looks so cool. Oh, he sells a bistron mask too. Hoot of non entity. Ooh. There are two ways that you can pass time in town. One of them is to go to the bar, and then you can just go ahead and pass time there. Or you could go to the inn and stay a n i g h t and have your progress saved. Well, of course, staying at the inn is、um, expensive. Like, you, you gotta spend for that. But if you just w a n t to sit down and pass time at the bar, that's for free. I don't know if he's gonna take days to do it.、Um, to make it. To just make sure I'm gonna actually. Rest at the inn here. Rest until morning. So, um, the save system in this game works when you go to an inn and sleep. So, they'll save for you. And there are two types of saves the first one is a very frequent auto save. And the second one is an in save. So, your save,、um, the auto save actually overwrites your save files very often. So, the only way that you can sometimes undo a choice that you have made is to go back to your last in save. And that could be quite devastating. So, what I would recommend sometimes would be to go to an in to rest. Um, before you embark on、um, a side quest or a main quest that you want to do. And if you make,、um, if you fuck up on some of the choices, you can always go back to your last end save. But that might also mean that you lose hours of progress in between. So just be really sure about your choices. I, are you okay? Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna leave. Imagine sitting at a bar for 24 hours. I mean, you could probably sleep there if you want to. There, there's like chairs and stuff. Okay. Alright, old man. Had a mate that lost three to four hours of progress because it was a long journey. Oh my god. Oh, wait, it's not done yet. Okay, well, if he's gonna take some time, we might as well just explore this area. Let's look around. Hmm. Okay. Where have I not explored yet? Oh, Thing I've explored, I have not explored the houses here. It would take roughly a day to wait for the forgery to done. A day? Like, by a day, do you mean like a, a real life day? Or do you mean like a day in game? Whoa, why are you so feisty? Why are they just standing around? 
I think they're an adventuring party just like us. There's a chicken that is stuck. Let me end their misery. Okay. Nice. Oh, there are side quests. Oh. Uh, I. I didn't mean to. I have no hospi hospitality to extend towards one bereft of decorum? You have something to say to my panties? He doesn't like my underwear. Fuck you. Hey, let me in. Open the fucking door. <laughs> Damn it. I thought those were pants. Yeah. They are. They are. They're just, uh, you know, they're just a little bit airy. That's all. He ain't charmed to you yet. A man of no culture. Oh yes, this is a long letter. I can actually show you guys the get here now. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah. Wait, there's a treasure chest here. Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. Okay. So you gotta be careful on this thing. I see it. Whoa, there's three! I'm questioning why I can't look away. I know exactly what you mean. Like, you think you're gonna be disgusted by it, but actually, why does it look so good, right? Near Automata Dogma. Okay, so this is the border. We're not supposed to... cross it without a passport. Imagine sitting on a rock at our current daytime temperature. Yep, that's gonna burn our fucking ass for sure. Okay. Um. I've just looted the shop of their potatoes. I spy a loot. Alright. Gonna look like a bright red peach. That sounds really yummy. No? Okay, um, let's see. I don't really have anything else to do here other than to explore the outside area. Um... I could try and sneak across the border, but I'm not so sure how I'm supposed to come back in. How do I do the sneaky? I wonder.
We can do some exploring around this area. Think it's time for us to see some fighting? Hobo Goblin. Oh, oh. Protect the Gyat. Let's go help our brethren in need. Oh, never mind. I'm level 20. Wait. A thief. A thief no more. Oh. Let's spin. Okay. I think there's more of them inside. Oh, there's a wrist stone here. You literally jumped that poor soul. Well, he's gonna steal something from me. So... We could bring someone with... You know, um... With a lever that's closer to us because... Our friend Wise here is pretty high level. Sphinx Mother. There's two Sphinx Mothers. Why? Well, this Sphinx Mother looks hot, though. But I don't really need another mage as of now. Farah. Oh, there's a Sphinx Mother and then there's a Sphinx Parent. How many accounts does this person have? 999 RC? Okay, to be fair, he's level 29. Freerin. That does not look like Freerin. Oh, uh, we don't really have a lot of good choices here. I'm not going to lie. I... I don't really want to bring another thief along because I'm a thief. And I want some diversity in my, um, in my group. So let's not. So, so, we're going to be a part of the Pawn's story, but if the Pawn is going to be a part of the Pawn's story, and if the Pawn is going to be a part of the Pawn's story, it will be a part of the Pawn's story. The Pawn is going to be a part of the Pawn's story, Oh. I think that's the dragon's plague. Oh, so according to what our um Oh. Oh my god. Okay. So, yes, according to what um the pawn has said, you can actually um your pawns can actually fall sick so here's the thing when you summon other pawns from beyond the rift um the pawns who have faced battles against dragons they can contact this disease called um the dragon's plague and it is a contagious disease 
it can pass on over to your other pawns as well if you're not careful. And here's the thing. So they would start off rude at first, like your pawns will stop listening to you. Um, they'll speak to you in a really rude manner. And they'll suffer from headaches. So... So when that happens, um, you know, if, if you don't purge them, um, if you don't get rid of them, uh, they are going to end up killing the entire town. And when I say the entire town, they do end up killing the entire town. Every single NPC in it. The town will be wiped. Where's the guy? Those members under the sickness slowly start behaving more like actual players. Ah! I, I... Well, they start to have their own um, um, thinking. Purge as in a shotgun purge or send them back to the rift. Um, if there's a shotgun in this game, then yeah, a shotgun purge. Like, you basically want to pick them up and throw them into the river. That's what you want to do. And have the Blight kill them. Oh, look at that yet. Okay. Roasted KFC, very nice. There's something in there. Wait, wait a second. What is here? There's something here. Ooh, that's a token. That is a token. So the system here is very interesting as well. If you've brought along someone else's pawns um, in your own team and, and you discovered something that... Um, their pawn haven't discovered, they'll actually note that down and go back and tell their own master about it. So every single progress gets carried over be from, from between the rifts, which is honestly, I think it's a really cool mechanic. I think that's what makes this game so cool. Okay, the, the butt is really distracting me. I need a better pair of pants to cover that ass. That sounds mm, like something that I don't want to fight. What is that sound? Oh. Oh, that's a griffin, guys. Oh, no, we can't get over there. Is there another way around it? Oh, we do have a bridge here. Whoa. Heartbeats are singing. And it can put you to sleep if you're not careful. Imagine hiring a pawn from a player that 100% that game. Oof. Well, I would think that there is still more to discover in the game. Like, for example, 
for example, like not everyone has discovered every um every collectible item like or findable item that that is in this game there's just there's literally so many things that you can do in this game and to 100% that you you're going to have to put on like more than hundreds of hours into it oh, i am not going to cut that bridge Remember what we did to our previous bridge. We're not going to do that again. Okay. Okay, that's good. That is good. I'm carrying a bit too much items. And give this over to Lazarus first. Have him carry that. Um, Lazarus. No share a load. Give to Lazarus. Give to Lazarus. Give to Lazarus. Okay. Okay. Let's cross over. I hope the griffin is still there. But I don't think he is anymore. No, I don't think he is. But anyways, look at how beautiful this place is. Look at how beautiful. Anything around here? We can't break it from this side. Oh. How do we break it then? It seems there is something here. I don't think we can actually... I'm dangerously close to the cliff. Wait. Oh my god! Holy shit, wait! Woo! I can have her give me a boost. I wonder if that will work. Whoa! Oh! Oh! I got in! Oh my god! I don't- I don't know if I'm supposed to get in this way- Oh my god, I might have locked myself out. I might have locked myself in here, guys. Wait, I can't break this? Why? <gasps> I almost shut myself there for a second. Whew. Why does it feel like there's something down there? Oh, we're gonna go down. Kawabanga. Oh, oh, oh! I'll help you! I'll help you! Okay, okay, we saved her. We saved her. Now, who are you? What the fuck is she doing in here? Like, in here? Hmm. I think I can hire her and let her replace our girl wise. 
because why is this pretty over leveled? Um, let's replace her for now. We'll give Wise a. You know what? Wise have Wise has been such a good party member. We're gonna give them something good. Let's give them a stoutness extract. There we go. Lua is here to join us. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, nice! A wake stone. Ring of Precipients. Quite a lot going on in here, actually. Let's see. What is this? Boost magic. Okay, I think this is for our boy Lazarus. Um, let's give that to him. Gift to Lazarus. And then we'll go over to... Okay, one thing that I don't really like about the system is that I cannot equip my character from my own inventory. So I have to give them the item. They have to be holding the item before, um, before they can equip it. So it's a little bit of like a... Lantern, half full. Do I really need another lantern? I don't think I need another lantern. It's gonna add on to my weight. Um, I'm gonna discard it. Yeah, we don't need that. Wait, that's just it? Is that just it? I think that is it. I feel like that might have been the only way that you could get in here. Like, have someone give you a boost and then you end up in here. I can't think of any other way that you could come into this place. Honestly. Um, we cannot cross this bridge because it's fucked. So, unless we want to plummet to- Oh my god, Lazarus! Lazarus, don't go there! So, let us continue. So, for those of you who really like exploring, this is just an amazing, amazing game. Because it really rewards you for um, exploring... Um, And you find a lot of cool things when you explore. I've gotten like a couple of side quests when exploring as well, but they're just like sudden random pop-up side quests. Um, something like the kind of quest that you get when you just go like free roaming in like Red, um, Red Dead Redemption 2. It's something like those. So you could just completely miss it if you don't pay attention to them. Or if you don't help them, like, you could just completely miss it. And if if the NPCs die, they end up in the morgue. Um, oh, do you know something cool? So basically, you can kill any NPC in this game. Even the ones um, that are in charge of the main quest in your story. So, you can kill them, too, if you want to. And they'll end up in the morgue. You'll have to use this thing called a wick stone to, um... You have to use a wick stone to sort of revive them. So, if that's the kind of gameplay that you want to go for, go for it. Oh, 
We have a statue here. A statue. This is an impressive view. Holy shit, it looks so good. Usually there are just there's like a treasure around um the statues, but I don't think this one has any. Whoa. Eh, no, this doesn't look like a good place to be. There's no path forward. Do they drop EXP though? No. Because they're not monsters. So you can't actually, you can't, like, kill, kill people. Like, you can't just outright, like, um, like, cut them or kill them with your weapon. You cannot do that. Um, there is a way where, like, you could carry the NPCs to the water and dump them into the water and have the blight consume them. So that is one way that you could do it. Now, the other way is you want your pawns to contract um, the Dragon's Plague. And when left unattended for long enough, the Dragon Plague will eventually end up killing the entire town. So no, they don't encourage you to kill the NPCs. But you can absolutely do it. Let me help you guys out here. Okay. I like the feed the beast method more. I wonder if I can actually show you. Like what's in the water. Okay, no, I don't think if it's not alive, you can't show it. Look at this view, it's impressive. This is beautiful. Except the water fucking kills. There's a cave in here. Have I been in here before? I think I have. Oh yeah, it's the place with the wolves. I remember this. I'm not gonna go in there. Can I carry the pig? If I could carry the pig... Oh yeah, okay. I might be able to show you. Oh, oh no, oh no. Pig, come. You guys might be able to see. Oh shit, the pig. Go back to the river. Oh! No! Oh, I see something down there. Oh. Oh, there we go! Look at it! The river's consuming them. So yeah, you don't want to be caught down there. Um, anyways, let's go down. We need to get this. Seeker's token. See, if I didn't yeet the pig, I would not have found it. No! Lua! Lua! Okay, okay. No.Sacrifice.Yes.Sacrifice.Yes.Sacrifice.Yes.Sacrifice.Yes.Sacrifice.Yes.Sacrifice.Yes.Sacrifice.Yes.Sacrifice.Yes.Sacrifice.Yes
This pig is stuck. Let's end his misery. Let's get the meat off him and then we can have a camp. Alright, we have some meat to cook. We can actually cook the rotten bee steak. Wait, does it does it give us the rotten meat animation? Oh you can kinda see that it's a little bit discolored, I guess. You can kind of see that it's a little bit more discolored. Bask in the warmth of the fire. Add firewood. Yeah, you can cook rotten meat. This is pretty cool. I like the camping part. It's very chill. I wonder if I can cook something else. No, I can only cook once. This is nice. Okay, let's rest for the day. Rest till morning. Oh, it sounds like we have a fresh sacrifice of pig. Let me combine some items. Okay, so here's the thing, like, when you, when you dry, like, when you get, like, dried meat, ironically, they're actually better than the, um, fresh meat, because you can combine them with, like, herbs and stuff, um, when you combine them with herbs, you actually get, like, a better healing potion, but that's pretty good. Now, where does this bring us to? Honestly, I think we are actually able to go back to the town already. We are quite a distance away. I wonder where this brings us, though. Oh my god, that's a dragon! That is a fucking dragon! I am not going there. Holy shit, I am not equipped for the dragon. Let's just do it the... Let's just do with these guys and just get out of there. Okay, we got him. I... I saw some people fighting the dragon earlier, but I think they're dead. I think they're... they're all dead. Let's, uh, let's not go there, guys. Okay, let's look at the map. Okay, we just need to follow this road all the way down, and then we'll reach our destination. So, let's go. On our journey back. So you can see why, um... Why sometimes I feel like, you know, if you're not gonna give us, like, um... Readily available fast travel, should at least give us a horse. I think that might have been better. Because 
don't get me wrong, I love, I love the exploration in this game. But, um, even so, like, look at the distance I have to cover to just get back there. Damn, even the pawns complain. Well, I wouldn't really say that it's complaining. It's more like um, making small talk, stating a fact. So it's actually very interesting. Like, um, sometimes when you do something, they would respond um, accordingly to that. And you know, it, it just, makes the, um, just makes the whole experience a lot less lonelier. Since when this game has to turn into a walking sim? Um, since forever, actually. They really strongly encourage you to explore, so... Um... I get... I get why they don't make... Um... They don't make, like, fast travel... A thing. So they want you to cover distance on foot. But you know, I feel like at least just give me a horse. A horse would have been good. Like it doesn't need to be very fast. It just has to be faster than my current running speed. Oh no. Oh, wait, there's a guy. There's a- No! Do not- Whoa! Did it die? Okay, no. Now it is. Dead. Ma'am, you are safe. She gave me a tiger eye. Are we in the right direction? So yeah, you see, sometimes I get quests like that, like... Just suddenly, out of nowhere... You get to protect an NPC. Alright. Oh! Ah, 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 ah. Oh my god, I almost... I almost died. No. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. That was close, yeah. I feel like I've died more to, like... Um, environmental damage in this game than anything. Oh yeah, ox cart is a thing too, but ox carts only travel between like towns, so you don't really get to um, see what's in between. Like sure, you could get off the ox cart like halfway through, but um. They don't stop at the smaller locations. Now, where is it? I think it's here. Take forgery. There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay, before that, I am going... Oh, I'm sure we will. Sooner than you think we would, honestly. Okay, um... Before we continue... I'm actually gonna go to the inn to, like, save my progress over here. Before we continue. And also deposit some items, I guess. Uh, 
itu. You know what? Actually, let's just store everything. I don't need to be carrying these with me. Sobering, warming, soothing, wake stone. We don't need the arrows. It'd be nice if we can have a horse or something. Yeah, it would really be nice. Make another imitation Jedi. You know, I actually, I, I think, I think I might have a use for that. Maybe to um, give it as a gift or, I don't know. I feel like we might still have some use for it. Yeah, I kind of feel you there. I might I might want to I might want to do that. Okay. Let's go to Lazarus, our boy. Let's put all of these in. We don't need them right now. Eh. Okay, he has equipped an an expeditioner's cloak. I think I'm gonna have him change back to the ceremonial cape, actually. Give both merchant the imitation Jedi, you keep the OG one. Oh my god, Nahar! You are the true villain! <laughs> That's a big brain move. That is some big brain move. Whoa. How have I not thought about that? Like seriously, how have I not thought about that? Second, I'm just doing like some crafting stuff. Craft crafting stuff right now. Well, I could make a bunch of flowers. Yeah, I might as well make a bunch of flowers. Mighty Robrant. What is this? Exquisite Robrant. Ooh. Wicking Remedy. There's so many. Exquisite Dried Spud. Knowing how this game works, props the merchant's gonna send a hired hitman to Avia Arisen later. <gasps> I like that. 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 Uh, okay, okay. If that's the case, let's go dupe another one. Let's go dupe another one and then we save.
What a move! I I I have to like let Manesa know later. Maybe he, he might have had the same idea. Who knows? Request a forgery. Okay. Um, can I create a forgery of the imitation one? An imitation, imitation. Should add orb. Yes. And it's cheaper too. It's cheaper too, and I get to keep the real one right now. Okay, now all we gotta do is... Sleep for a night? We'll sleep for a night. Rest? Rest until morning. Imitationception? One of them will check if it's a forgery, so you gotta do something about that if you plan to do so. Well, how would you know? How do you know? Are you reading like a guide right now? One of them will check? How do you know? Okay, um... Let's pass some time. Okay. Now, where's the shop? Hmm. There we go. Imitation Jedi Orb. Alright. We have it. Did you update your daggers already? Oh, the weapon shop here, by the way. I, um, the place here sells, like, um, weapons of higher level. And they're quite expensive, so I... Don't think I've gotten something from here yet. They're really expensive. So I don't really want to spend the money yet. Um, and as you can see, the increase in attack is quite a bit. Ooh, that's a cheaper option. Okay, this one doesn't seem that bad. This one's okay. Bespoke bow. Yeah, this these ones look decent. Let's get these. Purchase. Yes. Okay, and then we can sell the old ones. Signs of Valor. Yes. Okay. Use. Okay. All right. Here it is. Here it is. How is it? I give the forgery. I give the forgery. おお、ただし報酬はま商売というのは信用が第一。宝石の心眼を鑑定する必要がありますおお。大丈夫。イブラヒム老人の鑑定眼は本物ですから。さあ、ついてきたまえ。ノ。ウェイ、ウェイ、
Nah, you ain't going anywhere. Okay. Was it this guy? What? What the fuck did he just do? Did he try to kill the guy? Wait. What is he do? They're killing him. Why are they killing him? No. Why are why are they killing him? Are they? Why are they killing him? I guess the both of them must never meet. Okay, I'm gonna bring him to a further away. Like. Wait a minute, this was from an older save. Wait. Equipment. Oh no, this is from an older save. Holy shit. Um... Well, let's just do everything again. We have the Jadeite Orb. Ah! Komanev Saga! Welcome! My name is Nephis Mirad Galate the Knife. Oh my god, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> Stuttered. And I'm a Dulahan VTuber. Welcome! Sorry, I forgot the queen. I'm a Dulahan queen VTuber. That's right. I can't forget the queen. Okay, um... Oh, wait a it Let us go. Forge 2! We have to forge 2 of it. Oh my bo- Oh. Um... Okay, I guess this works. If I load the... I'm really afraid if I load the autosave, it's... If I load the autosave, it's gonna, um... end up with them, like, killing the guy. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Take forgery. Okay, I've already got one like brewing. Okay, so we just got to get the other one. Um Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know now. Alright, let's let's spend some time here. Okay, there we go. We have the two imitation. Okay. Alright, okay. We need to drag this guy further away. Is there a way that we can bribe this guy first? Now we know that he's gonna come over and... Talk. No. I can't. Okay, maybe we have to trigger that first and then. Wait, I think these are his guards. I don't think I can manhandle him. 
Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I know now. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to this guy first. Give the forgery. Need to let him talk to Abraham first. Then there is a short period of time you can bribe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's give him the forgery. Oh no! I think he looks like a decent good guy. That was for his freedom? I feel we've done, sir. Ow. <laughs> okay, I think we're supposed to have given him the... Um... The... Real one, but... Yeah, this is our villain arc, so... It's our villain arc, it's fine! So this guy is probably the evil one whom we give the imitation to. The pawns don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I feel like that guy might end up in jail. Oh no. I feel like such an ass. And he, he, he believed, he, he believed in me without, 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 uh, um, without suspecting too. Okay, I have to remember this. This is my villain arc. Okay, I'm gonna like I'm gonna run ahead first to his store and ask him Talk. Okay, no, I can't bribe him yet. I guess I guess I have to let him talk to the old guy first are you gonna go or please after you have I bucked him out come on move it okay no if I just bring out my knife maybe it would scare him into the not talking why is he just looming? Wait, where are my pawns? You're a bad guy, but that doesn't mean you're a bad guy. Oh, there we go. Alright, alright. Let's uh still a little bribey bribey. Oh my god. That is a hefty fucking bribe, though. That is a fucking hefty sum. Oh, he's back already? That fast? Okay, 
報酬をお支払いしましょうまた何か問題があった時にはあっ Oh, OK イブラード殿は宣言通り金払いがいいですねロギンのいい足しになりましたいいですね Well, my、um, pawn seem to not have anything 予想外です私の経験ではこれはありえませんでしたこれは驚きです My pawn seem to not have any trouble with that Remember, even villains have allies. Now that was interesting. Although I feel like I would have given the real item to、um, the young man because I don't think this has any like, real、um, use to it for now. I feel like if we, we've given this to the other guy.、Um, He might help us in the future. So, in the long run, that might have been a better、um, decision. But, of course,、um, this, is, this is just. This is my villain arc. I can't let that stop me. How much does it sell for, though? I guess we can find out. Is it actually worth what we're gonna sell it for? $2,650. That's almost like probably half the price we got it for. I can't remember. I can't remember how much I got it for. It's not really that expensive. I can't think of any other way to really use it except as a gift. Um, except as a gift. Yeah, I can't really think of any other way to use it. But I would have to say that is a real power villain move, Nahar. Like, just duplicating it two times. Um, duplicating it twice. And then giving them both imitations? That is a power evil move. That's a chaotic evil. Imitation times 99 sell all. It's. I, I don't have enough coins to make like 99 of them. And I think the imitations would probably cost. Like making the imitation would probably cost more than you sell it. So I'm not sure if, there's, if it's like a profit moment right there. No! <laughs> I would have preferred not knowing about it. Thank you, Rio. Oh my god. Oh man, you should, have ke you should have kept it a secret so that if our bonus want to play this game, they'll find out. They'll find out about the weight of the choices themselves. But, okay, see, the thing is, I feel like I've seen this, this consequence、um, happening. Like, I've, I've, I've seen it. Like, um. I wouldn't say I haven't seen it coming. Yeah. Oh, man. I wanted to be a good guy. But. We're going through our villain arc, so. I don't think, like, you're gonna have, like, Really extreme consequences,、um, except for the fact that, like, oh, they're just gonna give you, like, a、uh, um, they're just gonna give you gifts in return. Ooh, so b a r a s h i But you know, part of me actually wants to want to know what happened, what, what's gonna happen if I actually give him the real Jada. Like, do I will I get a Cutscene afterwards, you know, will I get to visit him later? Will he come to give me his thanks、um, for his freedom? 
So I'm quite a, I, I'm kind of excited about that. Why do I have six rotten shrewfish on me? No, that's withdrawing. I don't want. I don't want the rotten fish. We have an elite elite camping set on us. Let's keep this then. So yeah, we have to live with the choices that we made. I am not going to... I'm not gonna let that stop me. Ring of Skull Duggery increases damage dealt when attacking foes from behind. Seems good. Let's keep the flowers. Your incarnation gonna be Sinister Prison Warden, after all, so embrace it. You're the bad guy, but that doesn't mean you're the bad guy. Yeah. I mean, look at us. We look like such a villain. So we're gonna make, like, the worst choices ever. But I'm gonna lose sleep over that. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna lose sleep over the fact that, like, I just destroyed a man's life, probably. Uh, what did I wanna do? Oh, yeah. I wanted to give my elite camping kit to Lazarus so that he can carry it for us. And then I want to equip the. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, see, this doesn't work like um, in Yakuza, where you get, like, um, um, pound mates that you can use. No, they're not like that. So, basically, pawns have to be characters that um, are created by other players, or um, they will be created by the by Capcom themselves. So think of pawns as like a race itself. Like they are highly loyal people that have pledged their loyalty, their allegiance to the Arisen. And their sole purpose of life is to support the Arisen. So of course there are normal people out there who who are not pawns. They just live their own life as normal people. And that young dude, um, whom we're supposed to give the actual Jedi to, he's just one of those normal people. So, what I'm guessing is, if I actually help him, if I give him the actual, the real Jedi, the real Jedi, um, he might come back to visit me, um, a few days later to give his thanks. Which, you know, would give me immense, um, um, an immense sense of achievement. Yeah, of helping him. So, you know, usually I wouldn't go for such a chaotic run. I'm always someone that's... Um, I'm always someone that's trying to be good in games. So for me to have made that decision, it's going to haunt me for a while. Oh, great. Now we have a scarlet pair of over knee boots. Can I not have any... Can I have something that's actually... Okay, this doesn't look bad. But look, it doesn't give me as much magic defense as our underwear. The color for this one fits.
This one's even better, guys. Oh my god. They just want me to wear this. Okay, if I wear this, it, it wouldn't look so bad. Right? Like... Okay, if I wear this, it actually looks good. Ooh. Okay, not... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This actually looks good. And it covers my butt. I look like a villain now. Okay, this two would... I was gonna say this too would cover my butt, but what is with this? What is with this flesh that it's sh is showing? I'm not sure I want that. I'm having a dilemma here, guys. Do I go Dark Lord? Or do I keep my Giat for now? Because I have the money, I can buy the Wild Ego Padded Armor. And I think I'd be using it for quite a long while, to be honest. It's, it's quite a good buy. It makes the pants more breathable. Just show his gainers, okay. I guess I'll come back here and make the purchase later. But, uh... Maybe if Manesan is able to get on to the stream later, I think I can show him the Gyat. Or I should go ahead and actually purchase that first. And I can kind of leave this area. Okay, where is this? Where is this? Go to map. This is another side quest. Oh, it's so far down. Holy shit. Okay, see, we where are we? We're here. And this is all the way down here. I think we have to cross the border to get there. But I think there's another way, probably. You know what? I'm 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 actually in love with the um with the ego armor. I'm gonna buy it first. I don't really I, I don't think I'm gonna see myself coming back here um that much. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Purchase! Let's not equip it first. Um, let's also buy the weapon. Oh, we do have a leather eye patch. Look at this. Look at the leather eye patch, guys. Oh god, it's so hot. Ugh. <gasps> One step closer to Majimahan. Yes. But um enough with the fashion for you know what? I mm. If I buy the eye patch i'm not gonna have enough for the daggers if i buy the daggers i'm not gonna have enough for the eye patch tough choice i think a weapon would do me good i'll come across an eye patch like later in the game, maybe during exploration or something like that. I might come across another eye patch. 
I'm gonna give the eye patch a miss. I'm gonna go with the daggers. I'm gonna regret it. Ouch, that hurts. We're so broke now. We're so broke. Make it easier to farm goats. Yeah, I, ha I do have some items that I could just sell as well. Okay. Wait, isn't this the guy whom I just gave the fake uh Oh yeah, I just I just I just gave him the fake Jedi orb. Now, where do I find the young man whom I just gave the fake orb to? Like, would I be able to see him again? Like, I want to- I want to look at my own consequences in the eye. Lord, I can never get enough of this view. So beautiful. Okay, the thing about playing as a thief is that it's so fast, but I often feel that like I'm so fast that I can hit anything. Okay. Oh. Oh, there they go. Oh my god, the lizard people. The lizard people! No! 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 Help me! What the fuck? I just got stunlocked permanently. He's gone. Get the stuff, get the stuff. Have I ever heard of the greatest battle of Slavs versus Lizard Man? No, I have never. I have never. Is that supposed to be a game? Okay, we got them. Alright. We've saved the ox card. Come down. It's a real fight that has happened in history. What the f- Is he supposed to hang there? Like, whoa, no, I'm not going down there. Oh, okay. 
Oh, he's just hanging on. Like, is he gonna come Is he gonna come on over? To me, to me! Don't go into the water. Don't go into the water, Lua! You're gonna die! Let's get her to come up. All right, okay. Now we can have a real battle. Oh my god! Let's try to get on to him. Oh boy. Get on his face. Yeah. Let's do big damage on his face. No, that's his armpit. No! Oh! A spin! I am not alright! Yeah, climb. What? On the beat his face. Beat his face. Oh my God, where's he going? Where's he going? Come down. Oh, he's running away. Fucker's right. Fucker's running away. Come back. Grab. Wah! Oh, yeah, I'm fighting Kong, all right. Osiris, well, why are you hanging on to him like that? Honestly, I find the um, grabbing on system really funny because like they hang on to him on the weirdest of places sometimes. Osiris, you are a mage. You might want to get out of there. Osiris! Why are you clinging on to him so? What is our mage doing, like hanging onto the. You cling onto the dangly bits. What dangly bits? Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah. Or at that point blank magic boat. I don't think that's how a mage is supposed to survive. I really like the battle music too. Oh. There we go. Okay. Um. Okay, I got my items. Nice! Nice! Okay. So the trick about this game is that if you manage to stagger them, um, for the harpies in this case, if you manage to get them out of the sky and they fall and they fall to the ground, you'll be able to um, hit them with a finishing move from your class, which I think is pretty insane. Oh my god, Lazarus! Oh shit, how are we... Okay, we gotta go down from here. Oh my god. Sometimes the, um...
Sometimes the NPCs are just weird this way. How does a thief handle a flying enemy? Okay, so I have this I have this um skill which I unlock that lets me um that'll allow me to use the a rope to get them out of the sky. So not only can they get like enemies out of the sky, they can also be um used. Yeah, you can also use it to topple your enemies. Oh boy. No, 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 no! Ooh, ooh. No, we do not fight at the bridge, guys. Guys. We do not want to break the bridge. Okay, I think I can show you guys here on the wolf. Hang on. I'm gonna show it on one of the wolves. See, I can just kind of hook them over like that and it sort of stuns them. Okay. Sonic move get over here combo. I'm so glad we did not destroy this bridge. I was gonna go over to Just gonna go over to the campfire. Things get really hard to fight at night, so and I can't really see anything. Sorry, you have to die for dinner. How? Oh yeah, I am getting heavier. Make camp. Yes. Okay. Cook. Bee steak. Let's go. Oh, this gets me so hungry every single time. Ah. What's up with the, with the kingdom, Nebi-chan? Why do they not seem to care about the amount of bees on the roads? Well, the thing is that, um, you can't possibly keep every single road, like, every single area monster-free. Like, I mean, there's only so much that you can do when the monsters are huge and hard to fight and you're only humans dealing with them you know what 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 good is what good are weapons when you can't even hit, hit some of the enemies with it so you know it might be harder than it seems so i think the kingdom is actually doing all it can to Call the monster population, but it's obviously not like good enough. I feel like there's something over here. They pointed it out just now. But I kind of don't really want to risk get it, getting in. Where is it though? Oh boy. Um. Oof. We are a long way down to this area, so we're not gonna go there. Ah. Uh, 
In fact, I think we can make for half village. Yeah, I think we can make for half village. How do I get that? Oh, I need to go back on the main road, which is on the other side. Oh, Lua knows where to go. Alright, let's follow Lua then. Komanna DE, welcome! Hi there, my name is Nephew Smiria Galatia the Knife, and I'm a Dullahan Queen VTuber. And welcome to my stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what are you playing? Um, I'm playing Dragon's Dogma 2. So, this is my first. Um, I have never played this game before. I'm not even Dragon's Dogma 1. So, this is a really refreshing new experience for me. And um, a really warm welcome to you, D. I think this is your first time in my chat, so I'm 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 usually streaming horror games because I I kind of I kind of made myself out to be a horror VTuber, not. But I'm not really a huge fan of horror games, like. I just want to build up my courage. So there's that. Ice up here. Oh yeah. Look at this. How can you not be distracted by the Giyad? Oh no, I'm gonna have to fight them. Oh, they're having a turf war. Ah! Ah! Oh, he's gonna puke. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I'm carrying way too much stuff, so it's hindering my stamina recovery. I'm gonna give this to Julia so she can help me carry it. And also the... No, I don't want to equip that yet. Wait, did I discard it by accident? I did! Oh my god, I almost discarded my armor. My 2,000... My 20,000 dollars armor. I mean, I mean, where did you get the VTuber avatar? Oh, um... It's designed by my mama. Um, Rin. She came out with the design. We, I mean, we sat down together. Um, discuss about what kind of design we'd like for... Our VTuber model. And, you know, we came up with this idea of a Dullahan Queen. And, um, here we are. So let me show you something really cool. I can do this to my head. ta -da! That's what makes me a Dullahan Queen. Yay! So it's a pretty, it's a, it's a pretty cool little model, I have to say. Um, I thoroughly enjoy it. Although, um, if you're new here, you wouldn't know that I am actually going through my reincarnation arc. Basically, um, I think I am not really feeling it um, as Nephis, as a Dullahan queen. 
Like, I feel like I'm not really feeling the vibe of a queen. So it has nothing to do with the model. I absolutely love the model. Um, I love the work that has been put into this. Um, it's just that I don't think I can bring out the queen in this in this VTuber model. So I'm actually going to reincarnate into a different VTuber. Um, but everything still stays. Like my, my channel and everything still stays. So if you do decide that you like my content after today, um, DE, I would be really happy if you could join us for the rest of the ride. It's always nice to have new boners join us. The model doesn't capture the gremlin. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I feel that that might be right. In real life, I feel like I'm more of a... Um, a more... What do you say? Um, how do you say this? How do you say this? I think I'm more of a... Asshole kind of person. <laughs> I'm more of an asshole in real life. Like, I'm not this... Regal. Or royal. Chaotic, yeah, maybe chaotic. The flaming blade swirling looks like sun breathing technique. I, I, I think I can do it again. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Okay. So that skill just now is pretty cool. That skill just now is pretty cool. Um, so basically, you can imbue your blade with like fire for a temporary moment. So you see the fire will kind of stay on the blade for a while and then it wears off. So it gives your weapon like a temporary fire element, which I think is pretty neat. Because it can come in very handy for some of the fights. Especially if it's, um, if it's a particular monster's weakness. I've never traveled this place before. Like, this path. To be honest, most VTubers don't feel like they're beginning roles with time. I mean, remember that meme, VTubers lore versus VTubers personality on stream. Yeah, yeah. Basically, when I first came out with the VTuber design, um, you know, a, I think a lot of people have gone through the same... A lot of people have gone through the same process. Like, basically, they would feel like um, designing something that is just... No. Okay, so, um, so a lot of people just design what they think looks good, like, um, a VTuber that appeals to them, um, in terms of, um, aesthetics. And then, later on, the longer they stream, the harder they find it to be to, um, keep up the act. Like, a lot of them, honestly end up being themselves most of the time. Okay. Yeah. And that's why a lot of people end up wanting to reincarnate or just um, totally like... I think they just totally end up graduating. 
because they find it really tiring to be acting as someone for that long. It's hard to be in character when you're doing it for hours. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, people just end up wanting to be closer to themselves so they don't have to act all the time. And, um... I'll say this as many times as it takes. Like, I think VTubing is very much um, an acting job. So, you'll have to act when you are a VTuber to a certain extent, any extent at all. Dear Lord, please forgive me, Giat. Are you just staring at my Arisen's Giat? Have you just been doing that? D? You're trying to let go of the trance. <laughs> Good luck with that. Give in to the Gyat. Oh, we're going a huge round if we're doing this. It might have been better if we... Oh, wait. That'll be a path that brings us down. Later, so... Um... Okay, Lua knows the way we're gonna follow Lua. Oh, that sounds like a goblin. Oh no, he's gonna die. No, don't go into the water! No, no, come out, no! Oh, oh my god, oh my god! Why would you move into the water like that? Holy shit! Why? He just moved deeper and deeper into the water. I was helping him already. <laughs> Oh. What's this? To the to the scoundrels who think it is a jape to destroy local structures, spare a thought for the poor souls who had to repair the damage. It takes days, it does. Enough is enough. Why does it feel like this is directed at me? That one time I broke the fucking bridge? I see something over there. Actually, I think we can go and take it. It's somewhere up that tree. <gasps> Looks like they're calling you out. Yeah, exactly. They are, aren't they? Okay. It's time we go back. So, um, apologies if you're here to see the advancement of stories um, of, of the main story, but I'm actually not going for the main story. In fact, I'm actually going for a lot of the side quest. Um, because I am someone who will absolutely not move on until I've cleared every single side quest that is in the area. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. What 
What are those creepy tentacles that pulled him? Um, they are. They are actually. Um. Okay, it's this thing called the blight. I have no idea how. Um, it got into the water like this. Um. But it's called the blight. And it will just end up killing your pawns. It wouldn't kill you, like, straight up, though. Oh, what is that? Is that a minotaur? That's a minotaur. Wait, I haven't fought one before. Is it powerful? It's sleeping. I think we can try. Oh! Big swing. No, my God. Oh, my God. Ouch, that fucking hurts. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Time to heal. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Heal me now, Lazarus! Heal me now! Heal me now! Thank you! No oh boy, oh boy! Whoa! 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 Oh, 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 no! no. It should spawn us right before the fight. Right? Okay, yes. Oh, we're on his back. Grab! Grab on. Grab on. Whoa! 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 Oh my god! Oh, okay, his back is the weak point. Whoa! Get out of there! Get out of there! Okay, good heal, good heal. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, if we hit him from the back... Um, we actually do extra damage because um, I have the ring on me that wow I have the ring on me um, that would uh, give me oh my god um, I'm not gonna eat the rotten scrack of beast great deal of health this use. Woo! Oh, it's angry. Oh, it's angry. Oh! Oh, another. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it ever going to stop? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, I don't think I can topple him. We're almost getting him, guys. Just a few... Just a few more good cuts. Whoa. Oh, here he comes again. Oh, 
Oh my god, no! Heal up! Heal up! You gotta get up! You have to get up! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! That was insane! Oh my god! The timing! The timing! Holy shit, the timing! Did you guys see that? Oh man! He was gonna fucking... Chop me up! But the archer got it at the last. Is that another one? No, those are just normal bulls that I can just get meat from. Got a minotaur horn. And I am in need of this camp. Whew! That was cinematic. Did you see that slow mo too? Oh, that was so good. Oh yeah, I don't know if Manesan has um Manesan has watched um whatever happened uh just now. But we 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 basically Okay. We basically du duped the Jadeite orb twice. We duped the Jadeite orb. Or <laughs> oh lord! Oh lord, what is that? <laughs> what am I wearing? I'm wearing what is known as the peak armor when it's on. I mean look at the look at the stats on this thing, okay? It's 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 pretty fucking good. Okay, you, you can't tell me that this isn't good. Look at the defense. Look at the magic defense. <laughs> and it helps with the... It helps with the sweat. You don't get ball sweat. Now, isn't that a great thing? Oh, I see it's high mobility. Yeah, exactly. High mobility. That's right. <laughs> okay, honestly, I didn't really want to wear this. Honestly, I didn't want to. But... All of the items that... All of the pants that I found... Are all just female underpants. So... I was like, you know what, why the fuck not? What's stopping me? Oh, oh, Lua's there. Okay. <laughs> no, honest to God. Honest to God. Wait. Oh, is the body actually rot? It is it. It's actually rotting. Like you can see that after a day, flies started to gather around it. You can see that it's become more bloody. I wonder if we'll see it turn into bones, actually. That's honestly amazing. The details. The attention to details. Oh, it's another adventuring party, I think. Let's catch up with Lua. Yeah, I wonder if it does end up being bones. That's the thing. Oh my god. Whoa! Nice. Great finish. Why is this guy so big? I just really Oh okay, he's a lion. He's he's a he's a beast rin. He is huge compared to my character. Look at it. Saitam. Saitam. Where's the extra A at the back? Saitama. Oh, I can look at the arisen details here, so I can see how their arisen look like. 
Looks like a fucking phantom thief. <laughs> oh, I think they're probably dressed for the masquerade. Two thousand go. Ooh. Ooh. Easy money. Oh, that sounds like a griffin. That sounds like a griffin. I encountered a dragon fight um last night and I pretty much I pretty much died in one hit. No, don't worry. I've saved you. What do you have? Nothing good. Is he traveling with these two? Oh, they're traveling with him. Oh yeah, that means if I pick him up, they might just attack me. Oh! No! I've come to your aid! Is that it? There's wolves. I hear wolves. Okay. Alright. Are we going in the right direction? Where's Lua? Oh. We're going in the right direction. Alright, lead on, Lua! Oh no, please. No falling asleep, please. God. Oh no! Oh, oh. Wake up! Oh my god, we have to get that heartbeat. Okay. Got one of them. Oh boy. No! Where is he bringing me? I'm in the rock! I am safe. Well, it's kind of funny that the wolf could just like... Grab you in its jaw. And then it would attempt to carry you somewhere else. Um, presumably their lair. And um, you would just be like a flopping, dangly human in the clasp of its jaws. <laughs> Fuck! Oh man, I just want to go to the fucking town! I just want to do my main quest now. I think I actually have enough RC to buy something for me to change my look to if I want to. Right, go Lua. No. Go to where our quest is. Yes. So we're going pant shopping? No, we're not. What's wrong with these pair of pants? 
There's nothing wrong with it. Why are we changing it? We're not going pants shopping. These are a perfectly fine pair of pants. Not trying to attack you guys, chill. Yeah, if they're not pants, why do panties have the words pan in it? Huh? Tell me. Panties have the word pants in them. A cutting edge sense of fashion. That's right. Okay, okay. I do have a piece of armor on me. I bought it just now. Um, which is why I only have like four, five thousand dollars now. So, um, I bought it and it looks really cool. I am going to show you on this one. Uh, I think I might have given it to... Oh, there we go. No, wait. That's, that's, that belongs to her, I think. Oh, it's mine. Oh, she's far. To wait for them to go come over to me. Come over here, Julia. Where are you going, Julia? Yes. Give. Dantus, yes. Okay. So I have this outfit, which, you know, see, with the panties, it doesn't look that bad, like it's covered. So look, I look like a badass, dark, edgy overlord. I look like the Arisen now. Right? Tell me I'm not the Arisen. I am the Arisen. I just spent like 20k go on this armor. It better make me look fucking good. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I do like this outfit a lot. You chose cutting edge fashion over this. No, the thing is, I have I didn't take off my pants. See, I'm still wearing the panties. If I walk like fast enough, you could see my... Um, Zetairyoiki. You could totally see my, um... My thighs in between, if you look closely enough. My uncovered thighs. You can see my sexy... Um, leggings. <gasps> oh, that's evil lord get up. I know, right? It actually looks really, really good. Although, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really gonna get like a proper pair of pants after. But yeah, this is pretty good. And I like my I like my weapon, my choice of weapon as well. Look at how fucking insanely evil overlord this look. Evil overlord get up with a little oopsies. When you roll, you'll give a flash of your key. <laughs> I can imagine what that happened. I want to see it. I'm going to I'm going to try and do it. Maybe not in town because they're going to um, they're probably gonna get angry. Let's let's go out of town with Zulu spin. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. Okay, there's actually no one here. We can do it here. No, there's someone there. I'm sorry, lady. Uh, let's go further out onto the bridge. Like here. Okay, here, here. Here's good. Alright. Let's unleash. He's spinning too fast. I can't really see if he's showing his gear or not. I literally turned into a fucking ball. Look at this. Holy shit. Oh. 
I gotta look at this from the front. Yeah, I could see- Oh my god, I could see my thighs. I could see my fucking thighs. I'm pretty sure when he opens up, like, his- his- his leg in that, um... In this shape. Like, if he opens it up wide, like, we're able to see his fucking... Um... What do you call that? We're able to see his... His fucking panties. <laughs> 50 get flashers for skill. Although he did look like one of that Game of Thrones character. Oh yeah, this armor does look very Viking. It does have that Viking feel, vibe. But it looks awesome, it looks amazing. I think Manesan actually, um, wait, I think I can show you guys his... I don't- I don't know if I can show you guys his, um... Eh? The Arisen Shadow? What do you mean? Why is there a... Did I just get a quest somewhere? I feel like I got a quest somewhere. I'm gonna do that later. Okay. I don't know if I can show you guys Manesan's Arisen look. Um, search for pawn, friends pawns. Um, Rivi, summon pawn. Okay, let's look at Manasan's pawn. Where's Arivi? Oh, there we go. Arivi is over here. Um, view arisen details. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm gonna turn myself off. <laughs> oh, look at how fuck boy he looks. Okay, he looks like. He looks like if one of those guys from Barracudas, um, in Like a Dragon, got isekai into this fucking world. And became an Arisen. Look at how tight those fucking pants are! <laughs> are you- are you looking at it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys Rios too. In the bit. I can- I can do a spin around for you guys, okay. I have to say, the choice of tattoos is really cool. I like the tattoos. So, okay, I know you guys want a Gyat view. I know you guys want a Gyat view. I think the Gyat is not as good as mine. Let's be real. But yeah, I wish I could zoom into it, but I can't. Um, I wish I could. But yeah. Okay, let's let's hire let's hire Rio's pawn. Search for a pawn. Friends pawns. Uh I think it's Idro, right? Summon pawn. Idro's here. Ooh. Oh, 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 this is beautiful. Man, and that weapon, too. Okay, let's look at the Arisen details. Oh 
My God. What is this outfit? It looks beautiful. Holy shit. And it fits so well because Rio has... um. I remember Rio giving his character um, the something like a incantation tattoo on his arms. So you could kind of see the incantation tattoos here. Holy shit, this is D-Drip. Oh my god. This would honestly be the kind of gear that I would want to give my character because this just looks so sick. Rio's Arisen look like something out of Elden's Ring. Oh, yeah. And the weapon, too. That This makes me want to play Trickster. But um, the Trickster is a class that does absolutely zero damage. You will basically, as the name suggests, you trick your enemies into their demise. Like, you use your wits, you use your um, intelligence, you kind of just trick your way to a win. And it's actually pretty scary strong. And the gear is cool. This is insane. This is this is this is nice. I love it. So for now I'm not gonna hire any of them because um they're both really high level. I'm just here to view their arisen. So so ホーンが異界に渡ると、ある特殊な病に have to get to evening until our guy Brent shows up. There we go. I don't know why he was moonwalking like that. Yes, you do. I feel like I'm a lot more appropriately dressed. Brent, so after you. I wonder how many job class unlocked after maxing the mage class. Um, I think you have to have the mage before you could unlock the... Um, okay. Let me actually just do a research for you guys on how many classes there are. Um... Classes in Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay, so the main classes, the main vocations... Our fighter, archer, thief, and mage. And then the advanced vocations would be warrior and sorcerer. So these six classes um, are what you can have your pawns equip. So the starting vocations, which is the fighter, archer, thief, and mage. And then you have the advanced vocation, which is the warrior and your sorcerer. And then after that, we have the hybrid vocations. So the hybrid vocations are only available to the Arisen. Um, your pawns can't have these vocations. But the four vocations, the four hybrid vocations are magic archer, mystic spearhand, Trickster and Wave Warfarer. So I'm very interested in what the Warfarer is and I want to get it. Um, because it looks amazing and it sounds very fun. Oh, but the Trickster class though. Oh my god. If you play as a female Trickster, man, the outfit just looks so fucking good. Oof. Okay, so the Warfarer basically um, allows you to switch vocations and weapons on the fly. So, as 
you, you, you can switch between classes, I think, and you can even switch between weapons. I'm looking mainly at the gear, and it looks so good. Really. Yeah, so I think ultimately, um, it you're losing out a lot more on a lot more if you are like a class or a vocation purist. Like I know of people whom, um, like me, I don't really like the warrior, the mage, or the archer class that much. Um, but you know, you do unlock a variety of skills. So. You're missing out if you don't try out all of the classes. But I'm a I'm 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 quite a purist. So unless it's a class that I really like or a vocation that I really like, I'm not gonna dwell um I'm not gonna dive into them. So that's just me. Although I am very interested in the mystic spear hand as well. Sounds like a spear class. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I gotta buy the game for sure if I do want to experience it. Please do, because the... I think the... The combat is just so fun. And there are just so many things that you can do. Um, like you've already seen in my stream. Um, last night and tonight. Like, this is barely half... I think I'm only like a quarter into the story. I don't think I've even reached anywhere near the halfway point of my story. さすがにこれだけで証拠とはできませんが、何まさか。すべん講師までもがリーサの行動を気にかけておられたとは。いや。これは朗報ですな。<笑> <laughs> What's in my head is a female arisen with mage vocation that only focus on fire magic. Yeah, you could try going for a sorceress too. And thank you, Nahar. Thank you. I feel blessed. Yeah, so you could. I think you could try out. You could start off with a mage, and then after that, once you are like. Um, done with your mage vocation, you could probably switch to um, um, the sorceress class. I think both of these um, vocations deal with magic. Phasis. The Arisen's Shadow. Wait, if this is marked 1, this is a pretty high priority quest, isn't it? A shadow docks. A shadow docks you every step, perhaps sent by someone who did not take kindly to your prying into palace affairs. You had best confront this individual and find out their intent. Mmm. Yeah, let's let's deal with this before we handle any more of our main quests. Now where is it? Where is our sneaky sneaky Does it have to be in the morning? I think it might have to be in the morning. Um, do my pawns have any knowledge on this? Okay, I don't think my pawns know what I'm supposed to do in this quest. Is it you? No, it's not him. Gotta find him somewhere. Oh, you mean he won't appear like... In front of you? I feel like I'm... Wait, am I being watched from somewhere? Is it you? 
You look shady. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Where could he be? Oh my god, I'm stuck. I am stuck. Just keep out- Just keep a lookout for proper sus people. I don't know, they're all looking pretty fucking sus to me. Trying to look on like rooftops? Maybe that's where he would be hiding. Have I killed the dragon yet? Oh no, I'm far from being able to kill dragons. Really? You, you look shady. Come here. Wait. It? Did she see a Dulahan? Hmm. You! あんた、教科書を持たずに赤書を抜けようとする奴が増えてきてね。貿易は回復しているとはいえ、一般人の往来はまだ厳しく監視されている。くれぐれも、強行突破なんて… Eh? Wait. So she's talk- The person, the lady earlier, she talked about a- An ox cart running really late at night. And then this guard tells us about not sneaking into battle, the new place. You know, something's brewing. Something's brewing in the back of my head. <gasps> Anyways, let's uh... Okay. I'm not sure if I have to wait until at night to start looking for my mysterious... Shadow Stalker. Mama, this can it. Motte de Soma, Arimasena. So, so it's more catching or Takai Monobakari Janino. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know who's who's looking suspicious to me. You? No. If if I were someone, one. If I were someone wanting to tail a target, I would go up to the rooftops like a ladder. The lady on the bottom left screen is sus. Bottom left screen? The lady on the bottom left screen? Oh, lantern on, yes. Oh, are you talking about me, Danish? Yeah, I'm not gonna find someone so easily. Um... You know, have you ever wondered that maybe your windows are a bit too large? Like, you don't really need a door, do you? <gasps> uh, okay, I'm not really sure where to look for the mysterious guy, so... Um, unless we are going to progress with the main story, which I don't want to, because I know some of you are gonna buy the game and play it. I think I'm going to stop here tonight seems a little early but uh yeah 
yeah. I don't really want to stream this game too much because I feel like it takes the fun out of um, this game. Because the, the surprise element is what makes this game interesting. And I want that... I want you guys to experience that for yourselves with a lot of the um, side quests, with a lot of the main story and everything. So, while I really want to continue this game and show you guys more of it, uh, I think I'm going to have to stop here for tonight. And, um, you know, I hope you guys would support um, this game. Um, of course, I, I wouldn't recommend that you support the microtransactions. Um, but, well, if you need the extra goodies, um, that the option is always there. Queen, when you walk through Marketplace, a character in black cloak will fall. Wait a minute. Wait. You, are you serious? We're gonna go back there. Wait, is it the little girl? Is it you? Why is she following me? Okay, let's go back to the marketplace. Oh wait, there's something up there. How do I get up there? Oh shit. Never mind. Okay. okay, let me just Oh wait, wait, I think I see him. <gasps> Who's that? He just ran. Shit, where did he go? I think I saw him. You guys saw that just now, right? Oh, oh, oh. Dear. Oh my god, let's grab him. The hell you wanna do with me? What are you trying? Why is the girl here? Why is she following me? I got him. I got him. I got him. Yes. Who are you? She's an accomplice! <laughs> this man kind of looks like a character. Oh yeah, we got the same eyes. Yeah. We're kind of blind in the same eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why is the knight there too? <laughs> you know, um, the shady man is after me, the arisen. Maybe you could do your knightly duties and, uh, do something about him. Please. How about it, friend? Will you let me go? I have no reason to trouble you anymore. Demand compensation. The start of our villain arc, guys. Villain arc, let's go, let's go! Let's demand the compensation. Wait. But I feel like I want to refuse to let him go. Like, I, I think if I let him go... Let him go, you get 5k. Wait. But what if I refuse to let him go? I mean, he just tried to threaten my life. I feel like... Oh, if you report, you get 4k. But then he... You see, in the long run, he might try and come after me again. Hmm. Okay, the the only difference is that 
for one of the choices, we get to send him to the jail, right? I'm thinking that is the... I'm thinking that is the consequence or the outcome. But if we just let him go, he'll be free to roam and who knows what he'll do to me. Like maybe he was hired by Disa and he would come for my life again later in the future. Send the girl to jail. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know. I know that if I let the person go, I'm gonna get 5k, but I'm thinking about it in the long run. Like, is it going to affect me in the future? Like, is it gonna come and bite me in the ass later on in the game? We'll never know. But if I'm gonna think like a villain does, we're gonna have to demand compensation, right? If he comes for us again, then we'll just kick his ass again. Hmm. I hope this wouldn't have too dire of a consequence in the story. God, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Money now or money later? Okay, fine, let's let's demand let's demand the compensation. It's our villain arc, we have to stick with it. Let's stick with it. Yeah, you fuck off. You know, I I honestly think like your pawns your pawn saying something um about it has to do with the probably has to do with the um what do you call that the consequence. Is she just following me? She's following me! Why are you following me? Girl! Oh, okay. I think she's attracted to me, guys. Why is she just following me? Girl! Let's get you back to... Oh no, I'm not gonna bring her... Eh? 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 Wait, I'm princess carrying her! Oh my god! I'm not, I'm not, like... I didn't throw her over my shoulder this time. You know how, like, if you, um... Try and carry NPCs, they would... You would throw them over your shoulder? And they would struggle to get off you. But... For some reason, she's not? I'm not doing anything to a kid! I'm not doing anything to a kid! I'm just holding her! Like a big brother would. What are you thinking? I don't know where am I supposed to bring her? Fuck! Would you please take her? Please. I don't know. Um, a nice, a nice place for a picnic? In this poor man's house? There is a faction system in this game. Oh, I might have maxed out my affinity with her. But... I don't think you can... Date her, can you? We're not- no, 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 I'm not thinking of that. I am not. Where am I supposed to bring her? 
動詞じゃ疲れるしね。The Merchant Quarter. You know what? There's 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 plenty of food here. Oh, there's a girl that's your age. You know what? You guys can you guys can have fun together here. Bye. Just don't follow me. Don't follow me anymore. I'm getting out of here. I gotta lose her. I gotta lose her. Holy shit! Wait, I have a gift. Had I not encountered your majesty when I did, I fear this nation would have been let down a false path. My gratitude to you and to whatever power orchestrated our fortuitous... Fortu... Fortui... Fortuitous... Fortuitous? Meaning knows no bounds. I believe you are more than worthy of this token of my esteem. I pray they'll be of aid to you on the long road ahead. <laughs> No, no, she's here. Lazarus, get rid of that child. <laughs> oh my God. What's she doing in my home? What do you mean coming here always calms you down? This is my house. Get out. Yeah. Out. Do not. I do not want to go to jail. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean, okay, I might have helped her out a lot on a few quests. So, I can see why she's attracted. I'm going to sleep. I pray. I'm gonna pray that this actually... You can reduce affection by being mean to her. How do I be mean to her? How do I be mean to her? Oh, I know. Do I take out my... Maybe I take out my weapons around her. There we go! Now fuck off. Child. Okay. I think we scared it off. Oh. I think we scared it off. <laughs> no, she's fucking back. This is not your home, young lady. Oh my god. I'm go I'm 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 going to sleep here. I'm going to sleep and pass the day. Wait. Okay, okay. No regret about my choices. I decided to let the thief go. I'm going to save. Please be gone by the morning. She is still fucking there. She just watched me sleep the entire night. She stood at the door and she watched me sleep. What if I leave town though? Would she follow me? She's just following me. No. Well, um, I'm just gonna end here before it gets, um, before, before, before I get lean, lynched. Um, once again, I have to, um, re illiterate. I have to, um, Tell you guys again that I am not into kids. Not in that kind of way, I think. <gasps> not in that kind of way, okay? So...
please. Please. I'm just, um, if, as you can see, it's evident I'm trying to run away from her. Oh my god. Wait. Wait, the monster's in town. Holy shit. No. The people are gonna die. Oh my god. No. The townspeople. The townspeople. Wait, how do I? How do I? Oh my god. Wait, can I lead him out of town? The kids! The people! Can I lead him out of town? Come- Oh my god! Oh my god! No, I have to lead him out of town. I need his aggro first. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh boy. No, no. Okay, have I gotten this aggro yet? No, I think there's too many people attacking him. Ah! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Shit. No, the ox cut fine. Okay, yes. Let's let's just kill him. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're I think we're butchering him. I think we're butchering him. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was beautiful. Holy shit! Oh yeah! Woo! Let's go, Lazarus! Oh damn! That was a good fight. That was a good way to end the stream. Holy shit! <gasps> that was a good way. That was that was fun. That was that was good. And our ox cut is safe. Um, everyone save. Can I grab the body? I can't grab this body. But yeah, everyone's safe. Um, we lost a little girl too. That's okay. That's great. I would say this is the best outcome. Yeah, I think I lost the girl. That's that's good. Where's the girl? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to know. But okay. Um, anyways, I think this is a good place to actually end the stream. I'm gonna bring us over to the chat lobby now. Alright, so I think... Um... I think... Um... I didn't expect so many people to actually enjoy this series. Um, it seems like you guys are enjoying Dragon's Dogma... Um, live stream very much but again like I said I do want to leave this game um, for you guys to explore there's so much going on um, and I'm pretty certain that some of you want to put your time into it so I'm gonna go and say I'm gonna go ahead and say enjoy the game and have fun I will probably look into streaming it maybe one more time, but I'll be going at my own pace. I'll probably have moved on by, um, moved on with the story by then. Um, so I'm not going to show you guys every single thing. So there's going to be a lot of spoilers. Um, so just a heads up for those who still choose to watch it. Um, but of course, I'll try my best to avoid spoilers um, too much. Um, wait, no. I'll try my best to avoid having too much spoilers. Yes, that's what I want to say. So, um, yeah. 
That's it from me tonight. Thank you so much for joining me on my Dragon's Dogma 2 adventures. We've had some new viewers join us um, par part way through the stream as well. Thank you so much to um, DE. Thank you so much to... Um, oh my god, why did I... Wait, let me see. I can't remember the names of the boners who joined earlier. Uh, what was his name? I can't remember. I need to see him a couple times more um, before I start remembering his name. But in anyways, thank you so much um, to the new boners who join. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's stream. Um, and I'll be streaming. I'll be on a break tomorrow. I'll be streaming on Friday and Saturday. Saturday? Saturday. Yes. So, um, we'll be playing two horror games. On Friday, we'll be playing Yomawari Night Alone. And then on Saturday, we'll be playing, um, Sophie's Curse. So, if you guys miss my screams, it's the best time to come in and join me. Um, for Friday and Saturday night. And I'll see you guys then. Well, boners, remember to stay dehydrated and drink your milk because milk's good for your bones. Thank you so much for joining me on tonight's stream once again. I'll see you all in the next one. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.